Warning, the stunts in this movie were performed by professionals, so for your safety and the protection of those around you, do not attempt any of the stunts you're about to see. What's up guys, guys. Uh, today we are looking at Desktop Security 2010, and New it virus. is a clone of Desktop Defender 2010, and um, New virus found. it's still making this sound, so yeah. See if anything else has changed. Try to go to support. New virus found. And uh, please which... activate your antivirus software. New virus found. That gets annoying pretty fast. So let's go ahead and try to get a New license. New virus found. Let's try to get a license. New virus found. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the speakers now that you guys uh, get the point. Anyway. Like I said a minute ago, it looks like the site has changed a little bit, so let's go ahead and browse it. Terms and conditions. Uh, we got some legal info. Help center. Doesn't really help, but okay. Let's try to contact them. And they have an address, uh, 5227 Wilson Street. Not willing to test that right now, but... Alright. And, uh... Let's go ahead and look at the Rogue again. And it's still got these um, pretty annoying pop-ups. Do you want to leave unwanted software or viruses on your PC? Use a safe computer with Desktop Security 2010 U Online Guard. Go ahead and go with yes. So anyway, here's the scanner. We got the firewall here. Not sure if it's actually uh, doing anything, but okay. Some scan options. Some settings. I guess we got an updater here. And they are promising a proxy in the next uh, version of Desktop Security 2010, I guess. I don't know. Let's try to get some help. Hmm. And it goes ahead and blocks a uh, Opera browser. Let's see if it blocks anything else. Go with Paint. And MS Paint is infected with a backdoor. Son of a bitch. I knew it all along. Let's see if we can run it over that. I guess not. And uh, I do not want to disinfect that, so. Okay, I guess you can run it over it, so. Yeah. Let's try that again with the um, calculator. I guess we can run calculator. What about... I don't have any games. This is a stripped down version of Windows 7, so... We got nothing there. Let's try... Uh, let's try Fox it. See what happens. doesn't want to close it. Let's go ahead and uh, restart the virtual machine and see if it um, tries to block me from doing anything. Starting. It's doing something. Turn on the speaker here. We got a fatal error, cannot initialize antivirus engine, so wonder what'll happen. Let's go ahead and start up task manager and see what's wrong with this thing. Well, Explorer is not running, so we'll go ahead and do that.
There we go. And most likely this rogue would run uh, very differently under XP, but... Oh well. And for some reason, Desktop Security 2010 cannot start. Not sure what happened to it. Hmm. I'm not sure if it just killed itself or what. And I just noticed this. There's an option to uh, help Desktop Security 2010. Desktop Security 2010 needs your assistance. So go help it. And we're back to this page, so... And like I usually do, let's try to buy it. And see if that's really HTTPS. It appears to be. Whoa, what's going on behind here? Alright. Let's see... Where are the certificates from? Equifax. Let's go ahead and uh, report it. Well, maybe not. We got this little pop-up here. It says, your online guard helps to stop unauthorized changes to your computer. It's detected some spyware, and let's start scanning. See if it starts up. We've got another uh, firewall thing. It has some kind of mix of the Luna Blue theme from XP and the little X from Windows 7. Screen grab. Okay. I'll activate protection, see what happens. We'll go ahead and report it as malware. That easy. And it still cannot initialize, so I'm not sure what happened to Desktop Security 2010, but I think it died. I guess there's not much else to test with this, so that is it for Desktop Security 2010.